Let us free Ireland. Never mind such base, carnal thoughts as concern working wages, healthy homes or lives unclouded by poverty. Let us free Ireland, the rack-renting landlord. Is he not also an Irishman? And wherefore should we hate him? Nay, let us not speak harshly of our brother. Yea, even when he raises our rent. Let us free Ireland, the profit-grinding capitalist who robs us of three-fourths of the fruits of our labour who sucks the very marrow of our bones when we are young and then throws us out in the street like a worn-out tool when we are grown prematurely old in his service. Is he not an Irishman? And mayhap a patriot? And wherefore should we think harshly of him? Let us free Ireland, the land that bred and bore us, and the landlord who makes us pay for permission to live upon it. Whoop it up for liberty. Let us free Ireland, says the patriot who won't touch socialism. Let us all join together and crush the brutal Saxon. Let us all join together, says he, all classes and creeds. And says the town worker, after we have crushed the Saxon and freed Ireland, oh, then you can go back to your slums, same as before. Whoop it up for liberty. And says the agricultural workers, after we have freed Ireland, what then? Oh, then you can go scraping around for the landlord's rent or the money lender's interest, same as before. Whoop it up for liberty. After Ireland is free, says the Patriot, who won't touch socialism, we will protect all classes, and if you won't pay your rent, you will be evicted same as now. But the evicting party, under command of the Sheriff, will wear green uniforms and the harp without the crown. And the warrant turning you out on the roadside will be stamped with the arms of the Irish Republic. Now isn't that worth fighting for? And when you cannot find employment, and given up the struggle of life in despair, enter the poorhouse, the band of the nearest regiment of the Irish Army will escort you to the poorhouse door to the tune of St Patrick's Day. Oh, it will be nice to live in those days. With the green flag floating over us and an ever-increasing army of unemployed workers walking about under the green flag, wishing they had something to eat. Same as now, whoop it up for liberty. Now, my friend, I also am Irish, but I'm a bit more logical. The capitalist, I say, is the parasite on industry, as useless in the present stage of our industrial development as any other parasite in the animal or vegetable world. The working class is the victim of this parasite, this human leech, and it's the duty and interest of the working class to use every means in its power to oust this parasite class from the position which enables it to thus prey upon the vitals of labour. Therefore, I say, let us organise as a class to meet our masters and destroy their mastership. Organise to drive them from their hold upon public life through their political power. Organise to wrench from their robber clutch the land and workshops on and in which they enslave us. Organise to cleanse our social life from the stain of social cannibalism, from the preying of man upon his fellow man. Organise for a full, free and happy life, for all or for none.